your hands in the air Cause you know how much he cares We are the Hi, my name is Holden. Hi, my name is Raina. And welcome to Dub Bible Club. Hey, boys and girls. Hey, parents. Guess what? This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Loretta Dozier, and we're so excited that you're here. We have a great show for you. Are you ready to have some fun? Yeah! yeah! Are you ready to have a good time? Yeah! Are you ready to learn more about Jesus? Yeah! Then let's get started! Yeah! Hey boys and girls, let's open up in prayer. Seven through fourteen, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. And they were in the same country shepherds abiding them in the field, keeping their watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and say they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to the people. For unto you is born that stay the city of David by Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was an angel with a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to the God in the highest and toward people on earth. Peace, goodwill toward men. Luke 2, 15 to 17. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even until Bethlehem, and see this thing which is came to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the child and the baby laying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known aboard the saying which was told them concerning this child. Hey boys and girls, it's time for our scriptures. In Dove a Bible Club, we always go over three scriptures. They are John 3.16, they are Psalm 119 verse 11, and Psalm 119 verse 105. So let's do Psalm 119 verse 11. I am going to give you a three count. One, two, three, and read. I will hide your word in my heart so that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119 verse 11. All right, here's our next scripture. Psalm 119 verse what? 105. 
Are you ready? Are you ready? Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalm 119, verse 105. Now, you know what, boys and girls? I was at a school and one of the teachers was going over this verse and she taught the other students this verse that she learned when she was in Girl Scouts, a young, young, young girl. She did it like this. She said, your word, God's word, is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. Can you do that? Let's do it together. Stand up, come on, come on, come on. All right, one, two, three. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. Good job, boys and girls. Now, our last scripture is John 3.16. Let's say it on three. One, two, three. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life, eternal life. John 3.16. Now you say it. Come on. One, two, three. For God so loved the world that he what? He gave his only begotten son that whosoever what? Believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16. Look, I have a Bible. I have a Bible. I have a Bible. Do you have a Bible? Go and get your Bible. Is it in your dresser drawer? Is it under your bed? Is it in the kitchen? Is it in the living room on the coffee table? Where's your, oh, is it on top of your closet? You know, on your top shelf? Where's your Bible? Go and get your Bible. We need you to, to, to go and get it because we're gonna read an awesome, wonderful, stupendous Bible lesson today. So you have to follow along. So go and get your Bible. I have a Bible. And if you don't have a Bible, contact us at DoveBibleClub.org and we will send you a Bible and you will have your very own Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide his word in my heart that I might not sin against God. I'm the proud principal of Sunrise Elementary School and we love having Dove Bible Club at Sunrise because it gives our students, our sea turtles, a wonderful place to go after school. They enjoy attending, they learn about um, values, they get to learn about God, um, how to treat each other with kindness, and um, it really, really helps bring our community together and helps us teach our kids um, how to grow up in the world 
world and live proud lives where they're treat treating each other with kindness and respect. Hey boys and girls, it's time for our Bible lesson. Our Bible lesson is coming from several scriptures. John 3.16, Romans 6.23, and Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And our character trait is love. Say it with me, love. Hey, look, what is this? You're right, it's a gift. And you know what? Who doesn't like gifts? I like gifts. Do you like gifts? Yes, I know you like gifts. I love to get gifts and I love to open them up. You know what? During this holiday season, at Christmas time, you know what? People have their Christmas trees or different things that they have in their house, their different decorations. And you know what? They may have a lot of gifts in their house. But you know what? I want to talk to you about our lesson today. And it's Jesus, God's gift to us. Jesus, the gift of God. Yes, Jesus, the best gift. Boys and girls, you know when you open all those gifts this holiday season, this Christmas season, as we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, you're looking for this, and you're looking for a bicycle, and you're looking for roller skates, and you're looking for a camera, and you're looking for a PlayStation, and you're looking for all these different gifts. But you know what? There is a gift that's more valuable than any gift that you probably have under your tree. Or it's more valuable than any gift you may receive from anyone. It's the gift of God, Jesus Christ. God gives us Jesus Christ as a gift. God gives you and me the gift of Jesus Christ. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16, God gave his son Jesus Christ as a gift to us. Romans 6, 23 says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Remember, God gives us Jesus as a gift. Jesus, the best gift. Jesus, the most valuable gift. Jesus Christ, an eternal gift. Jesus, the gift from God. And you know what else, boys and girls? Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 said, and she shall give birth to a son, and you will call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. God looked down from heaven, and he saw us living in darkness, and he sent Jesus the gift, not a gift, 
He is the gift. He makes the difference. When you have him in your life, he makes the difference. Jesus as the gift from God. Jesus, the best gift. Say it with me, boys and girls. Jesus is the best gift. Jesus is the most valuable gift. Jesus is the gift of eternal life. Say, Jesus, this gift doesn't, you can't earn this gift. You can't work for this gift. Guess what? Just receive the gift. <laughs> Jesus is our gift from God. If you would like a worksheet, then go to DoveBibleClub.org. Hey, boys and girls, it's time for us to do the wordless book. And the wordless book has five different colors in it. And each color represents something. Before we go into the five colors of the wordless book, let's talk about what happened. Well, when God created the earth, he created it perfectly. And he created Adam and he told Adam, Adam, you can eat from any tree of the garden except this tree right here, which was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And you know what Adam did? He ate from the tree that God told them not to eat from. He disobeyed God. And when Adam disobeyed God, sin entered the world. And what is sin? Sin is when you know to do right and you don't do it. Say it with me. Sin is when you know to do right and you don't do it. And sin separates us from God physically and spiritually. So that's why Jesus had to come. That's why God sent Jesus. The first color in the wordless book is darkness or black. And the Bible says in Romans 3.23, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You know what? And all can be righteous, and that's why God sent Jesus. So remember, darkness stands for sin, and sin separates us from God. But God doesn't want us separated from him, and that's why he sent his son Jesus. When Adam sinned, God knew what he was going to do. He had a plan, and that plan was to send Jesus Christ to the earth to die on the cross for our sins. So the next color is red. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3 and 4, Christ died according to the scriptures. He was buried and he was raised from the dead according to the scripture. You know what? They beat Jesus. He wore a crown of thorns. They pierced him in his side. Blood and water came. They laughed at him. They plucked his beard. They spit on him. But he took all of that punishment for us. And the last thing they did, they nailed Jesus to the cross. He died, he was buried, but he didn't stay dead. On the third day, God raised Jesus from the dead. So red stands for the sinless, holy, blood of Jesus Christ. He never did anything wrong. He was perfect. The next color in the wordless book is white. And white stands for a clean heart. White stands for born again. White stands for the light of the glorious gospel shines in our heart. And the scripture is Psalm 51, 7 that says, wash me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be white as snow. And that's what happens when you believe that Jesus Christ died to pay the price for your sins. You confess your sins, you repent of your sins, and you ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior. The next color is green. 
2 Peter 3.18 says, Grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Green stands for grow. Green stands for learning more about Jesus Christ. And how do you do that? You read your Bible. You go to church. You come to Dove Bible Club. Yes, you pray. You obey your parents. When you do all of those things, you learn more about Jesus Christ. And the last color is gold. Revelation 21, 21 says, the streets of heaven are paved in gold. The, the, the roads are like transparent glass. And so those are the five colors in the wordless book. Darkness, sin, red, the blood of Jesus, white, born again or clean heart, green, grow, and gold, the streets of heaven are paved in gold. Hey boys and girls, would you like a salvation bracelet? If you would like one, contact us at DoveBibleClub.org for your salvation bracelet. Once again, if you would like a salvation bracelet, contact us at DoveBibleClub.org. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Linda Taylor and I am a volunteer here at Sherwood Elementary volunteering with Dove Bible Club. The Bible says, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. And I just believe that when God blessed and opened the doors for Dove to come into the schools, that it was an awesome opportunity for us to instill in children at a young age that Jesus loves them. And it's so important that our children learn that Jesus loves them no matter what and that he's there for them. And I just believe that Dove Bible Club coming into the schools is a prayer that has been answered through all generations. So if your children are not going to Dove and Dove is in their schools, you need to run to your school or get online and register your children because Dove Bible Club is the answer. Hey boys and girls, hey parents. You know what? The gift, Jesus Christ came to earth for us. God sent his son to die on the cross for our sins. And we wanna give you an opportunity to receive the gift, the gift of Jesus Christ, the gift of eternal life. It's easy. All you have to do is receive. When someone gives you a gift, the gift is there. Jesus already went to the cross. Jesus already died and paid the price for our sins. And he, the gift is waiting. The gift is waiting for you to receive it. Receive Jesus Christ. Receive eternal life. Receive the gift of salvation. It's simple. Just pray this prayer with me. Say, dear Jesus, thank you for coming to earth as a gift to me. Thank you for shedding your holy and sinless blood for me. You died, you were buried, and on the third day, God raised you from the dead. Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. I repent, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and be my Lord and be my Savior. Yes, my Savior. Jesus means Savior. Be my Savior. So I receive you today. I receive the gift 
of salvation. I receive you as my Savior. Lord, I want to live for you for the rest of my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I receive today the gift of eternal life. I receive you today, Jesus. I make room for you in my heart. Today, I receive the gift of God in receiving Jesus Christ as my Savior. And if you've said that prayer and you really, really meant that prayer in your heart, you believe that prayer, then Jesus heard you. God heard you. And we want to hear from you. We would like you to email us at DoveBibleClub.org and let us know. I received the gift of God today. I received the gift of salvation today. Let us know that. And we will send you a resource to help you grow in your relationship with Jesus Christ. It's time for your blessing. Yeah, your blessing. And here's it. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. much for joining us. We are Dove Bible Club. Dove Bible Club has been sharing the good news of Jesus Christ in elementary after school clubs since 2008. The students get to sing, dance to the Lord, read the Bible, pray, meet new friends, and hear an amazing story about the love of Jesus Christ. If you would like more information about Dove Bible Club, just go to DoveBibleClub.org slash TV. That's DoveBibleClub.org slash TV. Close your nose.